Ooh, sorry about the light, guys. So, I got this torch. Started in the daylight, but it's now dark. So, I hope you can see a bit better. So, this one, if you remember, had brake issues. I've managed to sort out the brake issues. I got it some brand new V-brakes in the work. Um, there is a bit of issue with the gears because I have tried altering them. Whether I need a new front shifter, that's another story. But it's rideable, but it's it's gears jump, so may may another day when I'm not as tired get it back on the stand and adjust the gears. So I thought I had them tied and now they're not working as properly now I'm riding it. So so but if you remember this beauty I had issues with the crank and I actually managed to tighten up this crank and if you look it's not wobbling oh, sorry. I'll hold it under there so you can see it's it's not wobbling there's no there's no lateral movement at all so what I had to do was I had to get a well, I'll leave links to people like RJ the Bike Guy and Never Fear the Bike Man for you is here because they've got loads of videos on pop brackets. So I took this off, took the lock nut, took this lock bolt, lock thing off and I basically got blowtorch and heated it up. Now, I got told that it went that way from a workshop, but it actually goes the other way. But when I tightened it, it seemed to have worked, and there's no no stiffness or tightness in it at all. So it seems reasonably all right. I've got to test ride it yet. I haven't test rided it yet. I've test rided that one, and it still needs some work. And I've got the. Um, I was going to do a video on. Well, you can see, I want, if I get it down to the low gear, I have the bra brackets, I can't do it with one hand, I'm going to have to put you somewhere where, um, I can't do it, I need some. I hope you can see that. So I'm gonna put it in my mouth so you can see what it's gonna do. So it's what I've done is I've just did if you can see, yeah. There's some screws here, adjusting screws, which probably a lot of bike guys have done it on YouTube, so if you I'll put links to people that will have info. So I've adjusted these screws so the, the chain happily jumps up to the cogs. Right. So as you saw it, it was moving freely. put it on the third cog. It's moving freely now. But I did have an issue with the lock nut. Now the derailleur underneath, I'll show you. The nut underneath was rounding off. So I've improvised, if you can see, is I have put on an old fashioned brake bolt that you can get on these that this you see this this nut 
Now the other side has a little hole. Now what I've done is I've used a washer from a br an old brick and one of those bolts and, an arm and the original bolt of the old pinch bolt and I have actually um I don't know if you can see that I have actually <laughs> I've actually um used that to anchor the cable in so I've threaded the derailleur through the inside of this this cable is like threaded on the inside of the derailleur and it's working fine so that's in because if I couldn't have done it I would have probably have to had to replace the whole derailleur and to get a new cable through um, it's got some new grips new handle grips I've also tried cleaning the chain so again I don't know how long this bottom bracket will last I still have to test ride it I think the tyres are the air pressure is pretty good in the tyres like again I need to get this back on the stand and try and find out what's wrong with this piece of crap got the brakes working and I got this one completely utterly working it is working fabulous so and I still have some work to do tonight I need to clean my bike off a little bit because it's actually really gross and yucky and I need to just if you see the bike in the back where the light is I need to sturdy that stand on it otherwise um, they're not doing too bad. I'm going to test ride it and see how it goes. I'll check the air pressure before I get on it and see how it rides. Hopefully it's going to ride a lot better from when I tried to ride this bike up to Wigginton, which is, if you live in York, it's from Hacks, like just past Haxby and I live in Clifton. So yeah, um, it was pretty bad especially with the bottom bracket as it was so you can see previous videos of this bike with the bottom bracket as it was but I'm hoping with it tighter it might work so hopefully and uh, try and find a new owner for it and I'll tell them about the issue with the if it does occur I said just take it to the bike shop the rest of it works and this baby might have a new owner already because somebody from my life drawing group had her bike pinched so she was after another one because face it we live in York in England when bikes disappear they disappear that one was the lucky one that one did get pinched and I managed to find it on the cycle track it's a miracle that I found it on the cycle track. I don't know if you can see me very well. But yeah, um, I, all I know was these two, I found these two abandoned. That one on the street, that one down the cycle track with another bike. And uh, yeah, and I did report them to the police. I've heard nothing. So these bikes are quite lucky that they've been found by me. Otherwise, a scrap man or somebody else would have just dismantled them for parts. But I knew they were fixable. That's the thing. I like to try and fix things and get them up and running. The last spike I had off the cycle track, it's up and running. It's with a new person. She's Liz is liking it. It's she says it rides nicely. And that had a broken spoke. And my brother's bike has been okay since I fixed the spoke, and he says it's riding all right. So. On that note, I'm going to see how this one rides, get mine cleaned up, get my sisters sorted out. Well, I've sorted out the issue with the, um, I'll come in here so you can see me there. Sorted the issue out with the gear, it was just um, tension, of the chair, tension of the gear cable and the screws like I showed on that derailleur weren't properly aligned so 
All right, I'm going to let you all go. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I'll see you next see you in the next video. Bye for now.